pass off, but are they good enough to stop Nairon Zero? And I feel like as time passes, Nairon and Zero are fleshing out that teamwork. You know, they don't mm -hmm. live together like Void and the Cat occasionally do. Uh, so they don't have those opportunities to get that practice. Pretty much, all right, let's just show up to the Major, crush everybody, and we'll figure it out as we go. Yep. They're finally starting to like really come together, I think. Um, and just look like they really should. And I think that last match, a match or two, showed that. I think yeah. the synergy and the uh, the chemistry is starting to flow a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, also, one thing that might work against the Cat and Void right now is that Nairon Zero had the last two games uh, pretty solid victories. So I feel that they have the hot hand right now. Absolutely. Going into this set, will they be able to keep that momentum? It's that will really be telling within the first stock or two in this game one. Uh, if, if not, if the Cat and Void can't derail that momentum from the previous set here, then they're going to be in a world of hurt. This game one is going to be very, very important in that field. Yeah, absolutely. And also the character matchups stack up pretty well for Nairo and Zero here. Yep. Mainly just that Ness is kind of the weak link, especially against Cloud. Uh, either way, the Cat and Void definitely get around that for sure. You know, they more than make up for some of Ness's weaknesses, especially because the two of them are so good at covering each other. Also, Void can always just cover with needles on the ground should anyone be hitting the cat a lot. Either way, uh, we've got a big start from Team CLG. I believe they did win the last tournament encounter, last couple encounters against Nairo and Zero. Wow, and Nairo, good limit management there. Going high with the recovery. Oh, Void actually just making me eat my words there. I was talking about how they are always passing off to each other and looking for those opportunities. But <laughs> Boy just threw uh, Nairo right off the stage and thought, you know what, I can give him its cloud, but no. In doubles, man, it's too hectic. You can't always get that setup that you want. You're way better off just throwing to your partner. Oh! oh! And Nairo catching the back end of that down smash only as Boyd unshielded. He thought he was good, I guess. Oh, wow, Ooh. but Zero will fall to uh, the cat's back hit of down smash. So we got even up in stocks here. Oh, uh, Nairo, no! Wow. Got a little bit too bold there. The cat knew that he was just outside of a falling air range, so he went for the PK Thunder. So if you're ever going to challenge Ness in that situation, you actually kind of have to anticipate his positioning before the upbeat. Right. Uh, if you wait until the upbeat starts to circulate, it's really, really risky to go out after. Nairo getting clipped by the weak hitbox. PK Thunder 2 there. Oh, but Void! Kind of lose his second stock already. It's still four stocks per team, but man, I think momentum is on Nairon Zero's side right now. Yeah, boy, is he in so many finishing touches today. I, I think he's about to go crazy. Man. man, look at all that damage that they just tacked on together. Boyd already. Oh man, is he gonna die? Yes, he wow. is. Wow. They just speed ran Boyd's stocks here. He's gonna have to borrow one from the cat. Still hanging on. There we go. Forward throw up air. The classic from the Cat and Void. It's definitely their most reliable method of getting stocks here. And the Cat 136 and Nairo just going to Ken Griffey Jr. swing right over the center field wall. And uh, the Cat's out of here. Yeah, that is actually the Cat's first death, by the way. One of his stocks was taken by Void. Yep. So this is actually still very close, especially if Void can get a kill here. Oh my what? god. That was a weird interaction there. Good for Void that he didn't have a lot of percent, right? Yeah, absolutely. And even if he did, he still probably would have been fine. Cheap, but it's still scary to see yourself get spiked into the wall. The cat masterfully playing near the in the near the ledge this whole time. It's really paid dividends for Team CLG here uh, with the cat keeping stocks. Void already had to take a stock, and the cat healthy at 61. Oh, and the immediate kill on wow. Void after it's like, hey man, you're not hitting my boy. And so also, Boyd losing four stocks this game before Nakat uh, really lost all of his. So that's that's really rough, man. This is going to be a brutal 2v1. Cornets. You can barely hang with these characters in singles. You forget about two of them at once. And the cat getting back. There's the up throw. Nairo's probably looking for back throw. All right. The stage control is just too real, especially with a 0% Diddy in the front. There we go. Finishing touch. Nairo starting to add that to his game throughout the last couple sets. Yep. Yeah, why not, man? The serve up from Diddy on the up yeah. throw is oh, just it's way so easy. too easy. 
so easy, yeah. Yeah, you should know, man. You team with a uh, good Diddy Kong and Angel Cortez. He's all right. And then, even though you don't really play with Cloud like that in teams, you still yeah, have yeah. the experience, so you know, man. Yeah. Yeah, we used to do Diddy Cloud. For some reason, it just works out better when we do do you know? But, yeah. Uh, whatever. Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, these guys are just fine with Diddy Cloud. Mm -hmm. Showing that... Uh, I think, actually, Diddy Cloud may rival Double Cloud for best team in the game. Just because yeah. the throw setups are actually so easy, and you have a banana to get the grabs. Cloud's grab range, not the greatest, you know. He can still find grabs, but he doesn't have a banana to guarantee one. I actually feel that there's a handful of teams that are better than Double Cloud, but... Yeah, I mean, like, when I think about it, it's like, yeah, on paper, some of these teams could be on that level, but mm -hmm. this is the only one that really sticks out to me. Okay. Yeah. Cloud, yeah. Right. She can Cloud, too, actually. Yeah, disgusting. Mario Cloud, you know, there's a... There's yeah. a bunch of good teams that work with Cloud. The common denominator it's is Cloud. Cloud yep. So, my man. <laughs> yeah. Of course, uh, the two teams in this top four that include Cloud are Dyro Zero, only one Cloud. And then you've got Como and Leo with two. Yeah, and they are waiting in the wings here. For game two of this set of losers finals underway. Void already at 77. It seems like the focus of the offense is really uh, coming down to just uh, a pressing void, man. Making sure he doesn't have control. Oh but my talk about, god. Talk about control, man. Uh, cat stocks under Nairo's control right now. Just the bravery from Nairo to run off stage there. He knew. He saw the opening. I mean, it is Ness, right? So, oh, okay. Never mind. Nairo forgetting how to recover or maybe paying too much respect. It's, wow. Oh. Wow. What is going on, folks? I have no idea, but it's a demolition derby, and I love it, man. And it is dead even after all of that on the right side of the stage. Zero, I love how he went into the cat. He wanted to try to get hit by Pika Thunder 2 into the wall and tech it. He would survive. Unfortunately, the angle was not quite right for him. Oh, so. man. Worst feeling as a, as a Cloud player. Getting limit and then accidentally using it. It hurt yep. Nairo right there. Yeah, he just got down smashed by Ness for his life at a very early percent, too. Both Ness and Sheik can do some grimy stuff to cloud off the stage. So I think that's really going to be one of the focuses of the CLG. Oh, is he just going to kill them both? But yeah, he doesn't even kill Zero. Beautiful calculation there by Nairo. He yep. the percent. He's like, I got this. Time is right. Yeah, you always got to be careful when you grab in teams, what throw you do yeah. in teams. Yep much time on all of Ness's throws. It really counts against him. Like, he's got an amazing back throw. His down throw is good for team setups, but still the animations are just so long. Yeah, it's a blessing and a curse. Yeah. Like, your opponent, or your teammate can react, sure, but something to your opponent. Oh, the cat, very conscious there of the fact that his back throw would have taken a long time. He could have back throw Dyro maybe for the kill, but he just pummeled him because he saw Zero right there waiting in the wings to punish him. Ooh, boy. Gary vanished there. And Nairo and Zero, man. One grab away on the cat from taking the stock. Yeah, exactly. Oh, up oh. throw to Bouncing Fish. That okay. was super cute. Yeah. And that's going to be a kill. I was going to say, if Team CLG gets two quick kills, we're looking at a very huge advantage for them. Here we go. Down throw. That's when you want to have that. And it's going to be one situation. All right. There we go, man. Oh, oh that'll do it. No, oh. not quite. I was going to say, I know that move is really strong. Wow, that. Look at this. Obstacle course that yeah. Void and the Cat are putting out here. Oh, they could have just gone for the forward throw. A little spin around. Again, long animation would have made that up smash connect to the tipper. But instead, Zero actually with a second chance here. There we wow, go. Wow, and the Cat, man. The Cat's saying, this is my ledge. Don't come here over here, man. The Cat, historically an extremely good doubles player, man. Yes. Of course, uh, in Smash 4, he used to team with False. They were amazing, but even... Back and ball with balls, man. That double Wario. Oh, yeah. That was, like, actually gross to watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So, Nakat, yeah, as you said, a, a team's mastermind. And uh, putting in work there at the end. Void, obviously, was there uh, covering the stage, covering roll. Yeah. And they pressured Zero there at the end into submission, taking that game. What a wacky game, too, man. Absolutely, man. So many weird kills on Nairo. Uh, and then that first stock that Nairo got, I love that. He just ran off cross slash Ness. Could have faded out with an air dodge, but he just knew. He was like, no, this is going to work. Uh, either way, we got one game apiece. Two of the best teams in the business. You're going to see these guys at pretty much all future doubles tournaments placed yep. very, very high, at least within the top eight. So losing finals is just another day in the park for them. You know, they've been here. They've been on this big stage before.
They're definitely used to the pressure. And here we go. It's going to be Dreamland. So a tri-platform stage. I think that... Oh, it's not going to be Dreamland, I guess. And also, very interesting, the pause is on. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, uh -oh. oh. Probably some questions about stage claws and stuff. Either way, let's see what Niron Zero's counter pick is. I'm not surprised to see a uh, tri-platform stage, but maybe Team CLG just took that off the table. Yeah. Uh, no battlefield, I think, right? Yeah, okay, Ooh. it's going to be Lilat. So the okay. hidden tri-platform stage, technically. Mm -hmm. um, we try to forget about it, this stage as much as we can. <laughs> but. Well, here it is, making an appearance in the top four of this doubles. <laughs> wow, popping out of the uh, forward smash there. Kind of a lucky break. Not even lucky break from zero, but just like... Man, <laughs> she's forward smash is not very good. It's really what I'm trying to say. Yep. I was trying to say it nicely, but... There you go. And look at how much damage Zero has already taken. But Nairo trying to say something about that and tax them onto the blue team as well. Nice, beautiful cross up there on shield. And the cat getting a back air. Oh, is that it? Down snare. Yeah. There's a back throw. Let's see if Nairo can get some dumb footstool. No way. I don't know if that was intentional. I feel like I don't see Nairo go for footstools a lot, but I'm not surprised if it is. Quick up and down from that limit up B. Nairo definitely sad to see uh, his limit not used for murdering purposes, but he's just going to definitely be satisfied with holding on to his first stock. Wow, Zero, extremely explosive in that situation. The cat roll, and the cat and Zero rolling around like maniacs, I don't know. And the cat went for a bunch of pummels there. I think that actually counted against him. If he had started the forward throw immediately, he would have been able to get that pass to Void. Oh, yeah, Nairo. Reaching for that. Oh, could have been a little aggressive there with the neutral air. Because of where the cat jumped, he had, if he air dodged it, he would have been in a bad spot underneath the stage. Right. Oh, and the cat finally going to drop that first stock. Nyron Void still holding on to theirs. This is such a tight race right now. Oh, jump back air. Still not enough to take out Nyron. Oh. And the drive by back air going to get the KO here. All right. Nairon Zero looking pretty good here. Of course, Nairon close to dying himself, so he has to chill on his normal aggressive playstyle just a little bit. Hang on to that stock. Let Zero take the front. He's a lot healthier right now. Yeah, Nairon at 134. Uh, the Cat and Void. Oh my gosh. Connecting and make it two. Not going to get the KO, but uh, hit. Eat one now and take one to go. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Void getting some early percent combos on Nairo here. This could be trouble. No, okay. Very well timed air dodge there. Oh, and Violet actually making the neutral air go over Nairo's head there. Stage felt, man. Jeez, what a pickup there by Void. He's always prepared to go high off of the cat's offense. Right. To get some really potent follow ups Yeah, I love the synchronization of this team, man. Again, you can really tell how well rehearsed they are. Alright. Nairo in some trouble. Zero, is he gonna help? Oh, Nairo gonna make it back. It's really rough, man, to try and assess the situation while Void's chasing you around. <laughs> yep, and that back throw, and a second one. This is huge. No, ow. Wow. Zero managing just barely to survive from that back throw. But even still, oh. just hitting the one on Nairo is a huge swing for them. But now, uh, wait, what? He could have just back throwed into Zero's up smash, and that would have been a stock. Yeah, a little bit of a miscues in the moment here. Oh, Forward and air. another. Wow, beautiful follow-up. Jazz hands combo right there. How are they going to do it? Wow, okay, they'll take one kill. They were looking for two, but I'm sure they're fine with that. Zero finally going down to his last stock. Meanwhile, the cat is the healthiest player on the screen. Oh, until now. All right, the cat, man, throwing out these hitboxes, getting some good damage here on Nairo. Aerial oh man! So well, yeah, Nairo not realizing that the back air gave him limit or back throw. Oh no! Ow! Oh, he's alive! Wow! Lilat! Man, Lilat tilting, but I think it was tilting back to its neutral stance there uh, with the even layout. So that really worked out for the cat. That was crazy. Oh, that was a dangerous attempt to down throw there. Yeah, Nairo a little greedy there, jumping past the cat. And uh, that's going to cost him his stock. Oh, gee. Wow. Nairo with a, with a base hit up the middle. Oh. And Zero just going to, hey, call it quits on that game. But uh, I think Nairo made a mistake there at the end, in my opinion. 
jumping past the cat while he was in kill percent to go for limit cross slash. I think that, uh, that was too easy for the cat to get a back air for a KO on Nairo, even if he would have hit Void there. Uh, still, you want to try and play it a little bit safer in these last stock scenarios. Man, Nairo and Zero not looking happy with each other. At least Nairo was definitely tight at Zero for a, a second there. But yeah. Of course, they got to shake that off. Proceed into the next match with a clear head. All right, look at Void talking in the cat. Putting some guru, guru magic, man, in uh, CLG from the Leap of Faith crew, man, back yeah. in the day. I always, man, when I see crazy teams combos, I always think of the Leap of Faith crew because yep. these guys would just practice teams combos for fun back in the back in the days of like J Band and all of them. Yeah, and uh, I'd say False and the Cat are still the, yeah, False the and most the Cat. Iconic. Yeah, crazy. All right, well. Where are Nairo and Zero going to take these guys for the fourth game of the set? This is potentially their last stand here at Super Smash Con. It looks like it's going to be back to Lilac Cruz. Very bold play. I guess having those three platforms is really important just for the pressure that Nairo can tack on with his aerials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, and just as you mentioned, man, the pressure to the, with the aerials, especially on block, that creates offense. You take away that defensive resource, and uh, you can get some offensive opportunities. Cat and Boyd finally with a clean breakaway here. Oh, and there goes Nairo's limit. And Nairo having some bad luck with limit in this set so far. Accidentally yeah. using it a couple of times, getting hit out of it just before. Yeah, they haven't been able to get those clean setups into a uh, cross slash or finishing touch. That's really what got them through Salem and Ryuka. Oh, I love that by Boyd. He just ran through and pivot forward tilted on the neutral getup from the tech situation. Oh, there, there we it go. Is. 80%, yeah. man. Super yeah. early. And we haven't seen the stock that's some alone in a while, man. But uh, we were a little overdue. That pass to the finishing touch. Exactly. Getting it done. Yeah, Nairo scored big, man. And... He has to watch his back though, of course, 111%, a back throw from Ness, can do him in. Oh, and Zero, actually, oh, again, surviving it from the center of the stage. Showing, of course, that positioning is so important when it comes to kill throws like that, or really just kill moves, but particularly Ness. You want to make sure to avoid the edges whenever possible, and it's going to keep Nairo alive too. And Zero will fall. Oh, oh my gosh. Insult the injury? Doesn't matter where you oh, are. Oh, but Lila oh, messing no. up Void's stock. No. Very unfortunate he got caught underneath the ledge. Great stage. Glad <laughs> it's here. Yeah. <laughs> sure MVD feels the same way. Yeah. He's like, man, that was your fault. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Nairon Zero looking super good now and yeah. even better with another finishing touch. Void losing two stocks in like 15 seconds. Oh, looks cool there. Looks like whatever argument they had, they hashed out their problems, man, you know. No couples there would be necessary here. Yeah, I mean, uh, the the cure to uh, you know disagreements and competition is definitely winning. Absolutely. <laughs> I think they're going to have a, some big old smiles on their face after this match if it keeps going this way. But, of course, they cannot count Team CLG out yet. They have some nutty kill confirms of their own. Maybe not quite as nutty as finishing touch, but still. Yeah, very potent in their own right. More throw to up air, yep. Wow, wow, they're triple down smash in spot. Nairo, That's Nairo I don't know. MK right there. Yeah. Going back to the Brawl rules. Oh, yeah. Not that he ever did like three down smashes in the Brawl, Brawl, but still, just like. Well, when he first Brawl started, he was, he was a little suspect. <laughs> <laughs> that C stick. Alright. Gets the throw, no follow up, but. There oh. we go. Some insane coverage. Zero yeah. gonna go down to his last stock, but that does not matter. This is definitely going to a game five right here, guys. Maybe. Never know. Oh, no. Come on. I, I think I know. Nairo and Zero versus Ness at 100% already. You never know. Uh, Lilat, man. Lilat. All he has to do is throw him off stage. Hope that the winds are blowing the right way. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. That was actually another Lilat moment right there. Kind of weird to go to that edge. Especially with a recovery like Ness's that's very delicate. Nice, good patience there by the cat, but even better coverage there by Zero. Oh, I like the stall with the side magnet, but 
definitely not what's going to win him this 2v1 by any means. He can't even complete a throw because of how slow Ness's throws are in this game, or in all Smash games. But yeah, that's super unfortunate. <laughs> Look at Nairo just waiting <laughs> on that platform. Alright, wow, Nairo looking still uh, not exactly pleased or anything, but he's, you know, they're, they're cool now. Yeah, the adjustments are still being made, but, uh, you know, Nairo, perfectionist, man, when it comes to yes, competition. Yes, exactly. It, it has to be right. Nothing but the best for him. Yep. And Zero remember, is the same way, man. I actually remember once when I teamed at Nairo, with Nairo at a collision when we won teams yeah, yeah, at yeah. that event, and we were facing DK Will and Mr. E in Grand Finals, and... After the first match, we won. And he was first mad at you? Match, but he looked at me and he's like, we need to step it up. Like, right now. We're not, we are not playing to our potential. Like, we're not playing as good as we should be. And that really told me something about him, man. Yeah. No, he, uh, play right, no matter what. He's a savage, dude. And you don't get that way by being okay with mediocrity or, you know, anything less than perfection. Yeah, so, I was uh -oh, just like, Uh-oh, uh-oh. Sorry, Nairo. We were just talking about how you're all about that perfection, man, but... That stock was just mopped up so quickly. Yeah, really rough stuff, man. And, uh, you know, we all talk about how Cloud can do an advantage. But in this advantage, man, Cloud can really get bopped. And what a better time for uh, Boyd oh, no. and the Cat for it to be game That's five. That's another one. He, he used his jump. Wow. Cloud is already two stocks down. The crowd going nuts for Team CLG. Seems to be another crowd favorite team. You know, we always talk about how much love Nairo gets, but... Yeah, it definitely seems like there's some boy the cat fans out there. Yeah, all of these guys are fan favorites in their own right. For sure. Right, up the row. And Nairo has to have, like, the best stock of his life right here. Yeah, <laughs> or Zero has to have the three best stocks of yeah. his life. Or more like two, because he's probably only going to play with two for this game. Right, the cat will fall. His first is gone. Yep, five stocks to four. This is still pretty tight. Oh, good and catch there. Oh, not quite enough to do it. That would have been huge if they got rid of Void there. This is Aerodon, man. So good. Going into the Z axis for a couple of the ending lag frames, so it's very tough to punish. Wow, Zero dropping a stock too. This is looking really bad. Now it's 5 to 3. We're going to see Void take a more passive roll here at 137%. Yeah, and I really agree with that. You know, just try and hold stocks as much as possible on your end to maintain that lead as long as possible. Yep, the damage will come. Doing exactly what I was about to say he should do, and throwing needles anytime the cat gets hit. Oh my god, all that damage is being tacked on right no, now. Oh, and Nairo used limit. He tried to cross slash void. All right. Up, up air will do it. Is this too little too late, though? Cloud, man, that fragility off the stage. Yeah, Void making some amazing plays. Same with the cat. And Nairo is out of stocks here. He's going to have to share. Zero now down to his last at 84. They have to take four stocks or they are out of the tournament here. Team CLG looking really good right now, Max. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think this might be the end of the road, especially if Boyd lands a kill here. No. Definitely uh, going to get a little bit greedy there, but Nairo able to hang on to his jump and recover. They're just chasing down Boyd at this point. Oof. A little miscue. They can't afford anything like that. They need a finishing touch on Boyd right now. Oh, oh okay. That'll do it, too. No, it didn't kill him, I thought, just because of the rage. They were right by the edge of the stage, but man. All right, Nakat going out. This is still possible, but very, very difficult. Yes, they need something crazy to happen right now. Oh, and oh. yeah, zero. Poor, poor support right there. He yes. was very in between, trying to cover either the throw, the punish on Void, or to cover Nakat on the follow-up, and he didn't do either. He got caught in between which one to do. Nairo fell because of it, and Team CLG will take out Nairo and Zero, putting them in third place here at Super Smash Con and Teams. Definitely not the finish they wanted. Such a powerful team, but I feel like they have not won a major in quite some time, man. I think I think other teams are really starting to catch up. One, figuring out how to go about facing them, but two, as people get better in general, right. I think uh, they, they are making it a little bit rough for... Um, for Nairo and Zero to operate here. Yeah, I think the 